Thank you for joining us. Have you ever wondered what all the lights and switches on the MRI scan machine do? In this video, we examine the LED indicators and buttons in the MRI scan room to find out the function of each button and decode the meaning of all the blinking lights. Let's get right into the video, starting with the MRI status display panel located in the MRI scan room. The status display panel is centrally located on the MRI magnet to provide a visual reference for scan time, table position, and patient physiological monitors. The MRI status display features one emergency stop button on each side of the patient table for easy access during emergency situations. Starting with the left side of the gantry status display, the first indicator is the respiratory bar graph LED. This status display indicates strength and return signal from the respiratory bellows. The LED pattern moves up and down as the respiratory bellows expand and contract with the patient's breathing pattern. Next up is the MRI scan countdown timer. This number appears at the start of the MRI scan sequence and counts down to indicate the duration of the MRI scan series. The MRI scan timer displays the countdown sequence in minutes and seconds. The set of numbers to the right of the MRI scan countdown timer is the patient position display. This LED indicator fills multiple roles, but overall this number displays the distance of the patient cradle to known positions on the MRI scanner. During the MRI scan procedure, this number will move up and down, corresponding to the patient distance from the ISO center. Next to the patient location status, we see another bar graph LED similar to the respiratory bellows status display. This LED displays strength and return signal for the peripheral pulse monitor. The pulse sensor is placed around the patient's finger to monitor heart rate during the MRI scan. The last LED indicator is the ECG lead display. This simple LED indicates strength and return signal of the cardiac gating leads. It blinks when electrocardiogram leads are connected to the MRI. The ECG leads monitor patient cardiac patterns to synchronize MRI scans with the patient heartbeat. Now that we reviewed the LED indicators on the MRI status display, let's take a look at the control panels found on the front of the MRI magnet. The left and right control panels are designed with a mirrored button layout. This allows technologists to attend patients and control MRI functions from either side of the table. The button at the top of the control panel powers the laser alignment light. This laser crosshair assembly allows for precision landmark over the anatomical region of interest. Directly below the laser alignment button are the cradle directional controls. Fast in and fast out buttons move the patient into and out of the magnet at a rate of four inches per second. The slow in and slow out buttons move the patient table at a rate of half an inch per second for precision landmarking. The landmark button bookmarks the location defined by the laser alignment lights. Once the landmark has been set, the move to scan button automatically drives the patient table towards the magnet ISO center. Stop move immediately halts all in and out cradle functions. This button overrides all MRI scan movement functions, including move to scan. The back to landmark button moves the patient back to the last landmark position. This button is disabled during MRI scans and emergency stop situations. The start button restarts the scan sequence if the MRI technologist pauses the exam. The pause scan button temporarily stops scan functions. It is important to note that image quality may be affected if a patient's position or respiratory rates change once scan functions resume. Abort scan stops all scan functions and ends the pull sequence. Once pressed, scan functions may only resume by clicking the start scan button from the scan prescription window in the operator console. The home button moves the patient table out of the magnet to the starting position. Once in the home position, the patient table can move up and down using the pedals located at the base of the magnet or at the rear of the patient table. The fan button controls power to the patient cooling fan located at the rear of the magnet. Patient cooling fans provide a nice breeze to control air circulation during the MRI scan and helps to reduce claustrophobia that some patients may feel. The patient fan should remain on at all times. The last button on the MRI control panel powers the light inside the MRI scanner opening and helps to reduce claustrophobia during the MRI scan. This patient comfort light may be left on at all times. If you would like to see more in-depth MRI procedures, click the video on the right. Please make sure to click the like button if this was a helpful video.
consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on the latest MRI content releases. Thank you for watching.